Alright guys, we are back inside the Audi V8 Quattro, the DTM car of the late 80s, early 90s. DTM by DTM it means the German uh, Touring Racing Championship uh, with the beloved cars such as the BMW E30 and the Merck Cosworth. These magnificent car cars like the BMW and the Merck really made it so so the Audi lost a bit, lost a bit of charm in the, in the history books as it was a bit glossed over because those cars were a bit flashier a bit a bit more oversteery not even a bit quite a lot more oversteery so you had those replay worthy power slides and cool door to door over Siri racing but this car this car is all about that grip nothing fancy a ton a ton and 200 kilos of German hulking engineering We are running 25 AI on the grid with the uh, 100 uh, skill and 100 aggressiveness. Okay. Step on the throttle. Seems that we are leading the slow pokes. This truly was the golden age of production car racing. Ooh. Got slammed there, but it was probably my fault. Here we start, I like drizzle starts. We'll get a chance to see how the scar drives on the wet. I'm getting overtaken. That's good, it didn't punt us, overtook us nice and clean, which I can appreciate. Light shifting there. A little ride on the curb and we're out.
Alright, we are in the fourth place. Getting left in the dust slowly. Doesn't seem that I can really hold my own against the AI on the wet. We are losing more and more grip as the rain progresses. Sometimes we catch up with them, but he is much, much faster than us on the streets. Really no comparison. I just cannot hold the line that he's holding. Alright, we are on our third lap out of five. The rain keeps on spooling up on the surface as each and every corner we have less and less grip. The braking zones increase. Oh, that was that was my option uh, option here to take uh, action, but I slow down way too much. Oh, they'll be sliding around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He is so much faster than us. We're just gonna line up behind him and start breaking. Him. Yes, let's take him out. Good. Now we just, just gotta keep that place. Two more laps. And we might have a pole position. Ooh, I say as I understeer heavily. Oh, into the puddle of water. Very nicely done, the loss of uh, traction and grip when you go over a puddle. You really feel the, the entire steering go limp and you really lose control it's pretty much a passenger a passenger slide where it means you don't have much control over what you do I don't want, want to get punted off the track me and him basically finding over third place super slippery now with the waddle pulling up on the uh, right side of the road probably need to stay away from that side as the track seems to get the water there Heavy braking, and still overshoot it a bit. Not the best as of entry. We are still keeping to the third position, which uh, I'm kind of surprised. I wouldn't. I would think that the AI would smoke me, especially on the wet. 
but maybe that's the secret uh, against racing AI on the high difficulty is just making it rain. Doesn't seem to handle that very well. Or at least I can handle it a bit better than him. Massive understeer. There's lots of water here on the side. Looks like we are still developing a bit of a gap from fourth place. All right, let's stay on the side. Let's not go swimming. We really started closing the gap on this uh, final lap here, but we're probably not going to reach those guys. I'm kind of surprised actually by uh, the uh, AI. I thought it would be uh, like super overperforming on the high difficulty setting of 100, but we still have uh, higher even to go. There is 120. It goes until 120 for some reason. Oh, looks. Oh, yep. Yeah, that was right in the puddle there. A little bit of a hydroplane. As we are approaching our final turn on the Nurburgring, oh, he's oh no, oh my goodness, he got stuck and I I could have capitalized, but oh that was a shame. All right, third place. All right, guys, that was super fun. We uh, took third place, uh, which is uh, acceptable for me. I'm down. I'm cool with that. Uh, it was um, enjoyable to uh, run this car on uh, Nubo Green, the Grand Prix Nubo Green. And I truly enjoyed these cars, these uh, 90s cars. The, these were my, these were the times where I used to watch racing, I enjoyed racing. Pretty, pretty much the golden era of uh, rallying and uh, manufacture production cars. Really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the game so far. I. Uh, I have my gripes with the uh, with it, of course, but AI is uh, AI is tricky, and I cannot. I still a hundred, not a hundred percent certain if my my uh, force feedback settings are good. No, oh, there we go, We're sliding there a bit. Uh, on the finish, we could we could have nabbed uh, second place if I was uh, smart. If I didn't went into the puddle there in the back. Alright guys, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed uh, the Project Cars 2 video and if you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I will have more content about this game coming as I am enjoying uh, my time with it. And I'll catch you on the next one.